All right, guys, Good boy 32 here checking out. So I'm sitting out here in the Freedom Shack. And as of late, I've been doing some videos concerning the politics and our Second Amendment, protecting it, banning this, banning that, uh, mandatory buyback confiscation plans that are completely illegal, and uh, certain idiots that try to ex exude, hell yes, we're going to take your firearms. Well, you know what? They, they can't because that's illegal for them to do that. And in the event, that would start a tremendous uh uprising in this country whether they like it or not I, it would definitely create a storm of monumental uh, proportions well anyway um i was struck by listening to the debate the other night i was on my way home and uh one of the things one of the candidates were asked was asked and i, I can't remember if it was uh that the castro guy or it was Buttigieg or whoever but i'm trying not to say their names because i can't even i can't stomach them because I, I feel like that if this is the best that the Democrats have to offer moving forward, it's just really sad because they can't think of anything other than uh, these major corporations are getting away with murder or they need to pay their fair share and they're so evil or they're the reasons why you, you're getting paid minimum wage and it's always somebody else's fault. But we're going to solve that whole problem because we're going to tax these people. We're going to take this away from these folks over here. You're going to get free stuff over here. It, it's it's just it's laughable. And while I understand that there are people out there who do need help, it's a voluntary amongst us who are doing well in order to reach out and help those individuals. And that's my point. But one of the things that I was really just blown away with was one of the moderators asked a candidate, do you believe that uh, Trump, per President Trump, is a racist and he said absolutely yes and and then he asked do you believe that the people who voted for trump are racist and he backed that up with a yes so it's really it, it really disheartens the heart right now to understand that these people will go so far as to call i don't know half the country a bunch of racist so what they're doing is they are really really doing a divide system with us and if that's the position that they want to take and if that's the direction that they want to go forward with, it's going to be bad. And, and where I believe that we should be trying to bring everybody together, find a common ground, quit with the BS. You're not doing the country any good as long as you continue to divide. Our country will suffer. Okay, so let's get on with the title of this whole thing because here's my, here's my position in life. As long as you're an individual that you're working hard to move forward in the life and you're not sitting around on your ass and depending on other individuals in this world, then you are doing your job. I don't care if a person is white, bread, yellow, purple, whatever. I could care less what religion you uh, practice as long as you're not trying to kill me. I'm cool, okay? The, the, the title of this video is NAAGA. And, and basically what that stands for is the National African American Gun Association. And uh, one of the things is I haven't heard anything about this up until now. And uh, basically this is a group of individuals and it's primarily African Americans and there's 90% of our people in this thing are African Americans, both Republican and Democrats. Uh, uh, they have 30,000 members. Now one of the reasons why people like this are, are making their own organization is that you've got people like, well, the NRA. Uh, the NRA has been losing a lot of respect around the community because they are taking on the goals. They're not representing everyone. They're representing some people. Let's talk about this. 60% of their members are female. They're made up by an equal share of Democrat and Republicans. And one of the things that I, I, I encourage things like this is a gentleman out of Atlanta started this uh, organization and... It, it, it was re it's really really cool about their story. I'm gonna put the uh, thing down below. It was started by a gentleman called Philip Smith. Now Philip Smith, a graduate of the University of California at Davis, and uh, he started out. It was about in um, officially started and launched February 28, 2015. So in any case. They are pro Second Amendment. They're pro protecting themselves. One of the things that I was really, really not happy with, and we're going to get into this thing, was CBS on September 11th, about 7:45 in the morning. And again, my good friend Mel told me about this article. They did a story on this thing, and I'm going to put the link down below. But it was interesting because the way that CBS steered the story, it was to highlight the fact that these people want to protect themselves against white nationalists 
or they steered it to the part where the founder was really upset about the gentleman who was killed by that cop up there in Minnesota, but the NRA didn't say anything about it. And it, that, that he, what they gave the indication is that that was their standpoint. I want you to watch the video because what they did was they tried to turn this organization, okay, who are primarily minorities, okay, African Americans. They are pro Second Amendment. They are pro protecting themselves, just like you and I are. But they turn it into all of a sudden we want to protect ourselves against white nationalists, and that's one of the things that have really, really upset me, okay, because I believe that you or anybody watching this video, we're in the same boat. No matter what color our skin is. We want to protect our homes and our families. Like I said, I don't care if you're white, black, purple, brown, yellow. It doesn't matter to me. I hate everybody equally, but that's a joke. But the thing is, is that if somebody's in danger, then I'm going to try to do my best to protect them. I'm going to try to do my best to protect my family against whoever it is. I condone organizations who are pro-Second Amendment. But the minute that you have an organization like CBS trying to turn it into something that's racial, that's where I draw the line. So anyway, just my two cents. I thought it'd be kind of cool to talk about it. We got some really neat stuff like this uh, recoil spring from Armaspec. We're going to be doing reviews on that. As well as we've got some triggers back here we're going to put on the high-speed low drag build. But anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. I appreciate you being here. We always end it like this. Red, white, and blue is right behind me. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom's not free. Because we all died for it. Or we will. It's Good Boy 32. I'm out.